RC tanks and trucks 24 7 something really cool and different in this video today here I have the new Insta 360 go to small tiny mighty little action camera it's about the size of your thumb but certainly packs a punch now Insta 360 not only sent me the camera they also sent me this all-purpose tripod lens guard carry case mount adapter bundle set awesome invisible selfie stick and a USB power mount now this I think would be perfect for the RC hobbyist because it's so small and also it's got that little lanyard you put under your shirt it sticks via a magnet so you can, you can do the like, uh, first person view really easily so let's have a look at the camera first shall we now if you're interested in this go check out the links down below check out that there's my thumb my thumbs actually bigger than it is that magnetic pendant I've been talking about awesome so you put the actual pendant underneath your shirt as well and then it just sticks on there like magic. Here we have our quick start guide. Okay, let's have a look at our first mount. Just like that. It's a swivels, it's a pivot stand it's called. And it also uses a sticky and you can clean it as well and put it back in here and use it again and again. Next up we have one for like your hat. So you can clip it onto the end of your hat or things like that. So give you that type of uh, first person view as well. That's nice. Instead of having it on your chest, you can have it on your hat. USB cable. So it's type C on one end. The awesome case. So this obviously holds it and charges it and also you can change the functions all from this little case and this is a multi-purpose device it's got a tripod stand mount just down there and also little legs so you can sit it down like that open it up and sit it on the desk as it's cool to tell it on even by a magnet in here and under here would be your lanyard yeah that super powerful magnets obviously when it's under your shirt it's going to be a little bit less but awesome check out that I do like that I'll definitely be using it for my RC footage. Now the instruction menu, we've got a quick start guide, what to know, and also some stickers. So there's the device itself, as you can see, it's tiny, smaller than my thumb. It's got one indicator light there, and just a button up here to start, stop, record, and take photos. Now the video resolution can go up from 24 to 50 frames a second at 1440p, and also the same at uh, 1080p. As HDR at 1440p, as well as in 1080p. Time lapse time shift and also slow motion now slow motion is only at 1080p but it's at 120 frames a second i think i'll be using that a lot especially when doing a lot of trail runs and rc content which is it's perfect for me it records in h264 at a maximum bit rate of 80 megabits it has an inbuilt 32 gig of storage now runtime standalone just with the camera itself is 30 minutes in video mode and in pro mode we get all those cool effects is 20 minutes if you're putting it in the case, which is cool, it runs at 150 minutes in video mode and 110 in pro video mode. Now also, the Insta360 GO camera by itself is waterproof, but this case isn't, so just bear that in mind. And on this case, the quality is really nice. It's heavy, it's got a nice aluminium hinge here, it just feels really sturdy and you're not going to... You know, you're not going to break it anytime soon, but the camera's in there, you open it up and it's ready to rock and roll. Push to connect and there we go, it's connected and it also does have a little vibrator motor in the camera unit itself so that is really nice. So like a little screen here, you can go through the different modes, time shift, time lapse, HDR video, slow-mo settings, video as well. And if you click on, you see it goes to the menu so that's currently at 1440p at 50 frames. If you push and hold, it goes to another little menu where you can click on here and change the settings. So from 1080p. 1440p, click on the frame rates, click it again, goes to 24, 25, and etc. It just keeps going around. So that's how you can change it, all those settings, through this little screen and just these two buttons. Now, if you want to record, you just push this button. This little light here will have a little indicator light. It's flashing, it tells you the recording time as well, and you can always just stop it just like that and that light will stay solid. Now if you want you to take it out of the case, now these magnets are really strong and it has, the vibrator is on there, it's very strong so you can feel it. As soon as you take it out and there's a there's like a button here, it's hard to see but there's a button on the unit itself, you push that and it'll, uh, it'll connect as well. Once it's out, you can still control it via the charging case as well which is awesome. So you can see if I push this, it'll stop It'll tell me it's stopped. This charging case is a must, I believe, to take with you. Although you can also do the same settings and change the uh, the camera via the phone app. Locked and loaded, and you're ready to take it. It's so small you can put it in your pocket. You won't even really notice it. It's just like a 
headphones really cool and uh, I think it's perfect for us hobbyists now it's for a lot of people uh, mountain biking you know in the uh, swimming anything general hiking and hobbyist I like I do believe this is what it's perfect for let's quickly go through some of these accessories we've got a lens guard which includes two lens guards I'm gonna definitely put that one it's got to be perfect for me with RC stuff so you never know if you might roll over fall off it's always good to have these lens guards and a nice little cleaning cloth as well next up we have the USB power mount so what that is it's a it's a mount obviously but it's USB powered as well so if you're doing live streaming or transferring data and you want to keep the battery up to uh, full you just use this Got a USB-C plug on the side. We have an invisible selfie stick, so when you're doing the 360 shots with a 360 camera, it removes the selfie stick and looks like it's just floating there. We have an all-purpose tripod, so it's obviously a stick as well to hold the camera, but it's a really solid tripod mount. Nice, nice friction there, so it doesn't just flop around, but they're really nice. Extendable legs, that's great. Nice, stumpy little design, and it feels good. Nicely weighted, and it feels like nice quality. So we have the mount adapter bundle so it gives you a magnetic screw mount magnetic prong, prong mount and action mount adapter thumb screw flat base and a curved base there we go some nice 3m tape so curved mount the flat different mounts and lastly the insta360 go to carry case so your mount action camera pivot stand magnetic prong adapter magnetic screw mount easy clip and charger case so that's nice anything on the go plus more storage up here we can put cables and all that kind of stuff cool what I will show though is the awesome horizon leveling and how you can edit your aspect ratio after you've actually shot the video so if I click that it gives me my live update and this will be the footage from the camera if I rotate it like this it's always going to stay steady it's it's so cool I've never had that on action cam myself so I'm really excited about that so as you can see it's got some wizardry behind there some some magic happening so if I stop it there we go go into the app it load it up and I can edit it now so for example I can change aspect ratio 1 to 1 9 by 6 or 16 by 9 you can trim it change it to wide action linear narrow it's amazing so that is fantastic but I'm not gonna show too much on the app don't want to waste too much of your time but App is really cool, I thoroughly enjoy it, and you can also get it on the PC, which I'll be using that mostly for my editing. So that's going to wrap it up for showing you the camera. I think I'm going to put on an RC car, I'll do another video later on, but uh, let's see how it works and see how it looks. Okay, I've got the action camera behind the steering wheel, going to give you like a perfect driver's perspective, so let's see how it looks.
Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video for the Insta360 to go. If you're interested, please leave the link down below. If you have this camera, let me know what you think or let me know where you'd like me to put this little camera on some of my RC cars. This camera is perfect for me as a hobbyist because it gives me the you know flexibility to put it in little tight spaces, you know, under the canopies, maybe under the wheel wells, give you some really cool different shots for the hobby. So very cool, I do like it and uh, let me know what you guys think. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.